First at five, we begin with live pictures at Hopkins Airport where we've been monitoring flights to and from areas in the southeast that were in the path of Hurricane Helene, now tropical storm. Not too much disruption, to be perfectly honest. Overall today, things are running fairly smoothly. We have seen a few cancellations from areas like Charlotte, Myrtle Beach, and Tampa, which, of course, took a big brunt of the storm. And speaking of Tampa, the Tampa, Sarasota, St. Pete area got hit pretty hard with storm surge as the storm passed by offshore. A lot of high wind, too. That storm, Hurricane Helene, now a tropical depression, but uh, you can see there's a lot of water where it shouldn't be. Storm surge in some areas reaching 15 feet. Wow. Crews are still working to get folks, you know, assistance where they may need it. And take a look at this from Boone, North Carolina and Appalachia, which is flooded. This is historic flooding. North Carolina DOT at one point this afternoon even told our sister station in Greensboro to consider all roads in the western part of the state closed. Incredible flooding wow. there. And in nearby Tennessee, inmates from a county jail had to be evacuated this afternoon. They are taking their mattresses and all their clothes with them and their little striped suits marching right through town to get to higher ground as that uh, that area is in the uh, area around where a levee or excuse me, a dam uh, failed. So you don't see that every day. Problems. That's in Newton, Tennessee. That is a bizarre scene for sure. With that, we welcome you into three news at five. Thank you so much for spending time with us. Betsy, happy Friday to you and, uh, of course, to everyone watching at home. You too. It's been a long week it for has. a lot of folks. Yeah. Uh, he's Jay Crawford. I'm Betsy Kling. And there are still 30 uh, deaths that have been attributed mm. to this massive storm, and it is not done yet. As we said, that flooding threat now, that inland flooding threat, really is probably going to end up being the biggest uh, fatality metric in this entire storm system. So we want to catch up with where the rain is, where the wind is, because it's still quite windy. And that includes us here in Northeast Ohio. Meteorologist AJ Colby keeping an eye on the weather and also what's left of Helene. AJ? That's right, Betsy, Jay, and everyone this afternoon. They, of course, the hurricane came ashore as a Category 4 hurricane, as Betsy and Jay were saying in Florida last night, late last night and has very swiftly made its way up the spine of the Appalachians into the Ohio and Tennessee valleys where it continues to spin. In fact, at this very minute, post-tropical Helene or tropical depression Helene is in Kentucky now, and you can see the convection associated with it, the heaviest water actually falling in the Buckeye State, downstate right now. It looks like the movement is going to meander literally meander in this very small area with bands of rain wrapping in around it. So we're going to continue with the possibility for some showery weather, not only through tonight, but into tomorrow and also Sunday and perhaps into Monday as well before this thing finally rains out. Another two to three inches north of Nashville, western parts of Ohio included there in that orange color. That's 1.5 to 2 inches. And outside of that, we're in about the uh, three quarter inch to maybe upwards of an inch in some backyards. Going to be light to start, perhaps a little bit heavier getting into Sunday. Current Doppler radar showing light showery weather over the Cleveland Metro. Maybe a few sprinkles or light rain showers through tonight as well. And you can see where the heaviest rain is falling downstate along with high wind warnings as well over parts of the Buckeye State. We'll look into the full forecast, Jay, in a few minutes, see what to expect for the rest of the week. All right, AJ, we look forward to that. Thank you very much.